So we're going to start our killer keyword research, and uh, I'm going to divulge a powerful secret weapon right now to use. It's called Google. <laughs> well, let me tell you what. A lot of people, they uh, they think, you know, they got to just go to the uh, the special, powerful, secret tools, and you definitely do use those. But don't neglect to just use Google, too, okay? And everything that you're going to see me do in this video is going to be completely free. I have not logged in to any of the tools that I use. I'm only going to showcase the free services that they offer. Yes, if you buy the service, you get more information. Could help you be more accurate. Could help you get that information more quickly. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you how to do it with completely free tools. Spying on your competitors is a good place to start. It's a good place to get keyword you know, resources, keyword list. But don't neglect to ask yourself the question. The end result is the customer is asking, what is in it for me? So that means think a little bit about what is the end goal, what are they going to be looking for in order to, uh, you know, find this thing on Google. So you want to try to get into the mind of your prospective visitor, what they're wanting. So here we are on Google. Now, in Module 1, I just picked a product at random, and we did some guitar thing that uh, it looked like to me, it wasn't going to work out really good. Uh, Mike could tweak it a little bit. And like I said, if uh, even though I was losing money with the numbers that I punched into the evaluator there, that in and of itself does not mean that it's not good. And if it met the 100 gravity and the $30 commission, I would probably still go for it as long as the ad spend did not you know, greatly outweigh by actually about four times the uh, amount of sales that I was predicted to have there. And in fact, let me pull up the evaluator. You will see here, I added something right here, the suggestion, because I think this would make it, I don't, I didn't have this on my uh, personal spreadsheet, but I thought this might make it a little bit easier for you. All that it does is make a determination based on how much you would make a day and how much you would spend a day, whether or not you should go for it, okay? Because just because there's a loss or you break even, that does not mean, you know, don't do it. By all means, you still can. If, uh, again, we're dealing with Google data here, and the predictions are not really that accurate, okay? So we don't want to just outcount something because... This says we're going to have a loss because, again, they don't know how good our ad is. They don't know how well it's going to convert. They don't know what kind of marketing we're able to do. Uh, it's just estimate stuff. Okay, but that's the numbers that we've got to work with. So uh, that's why I put in here another factor that helps you determine whether or not you're going to go for it. Okay, so now that being said, I'm at Google here, and I'm just thinking. I found a couple of products. Let me head back here and show you. I found a couple of products that looked a little bit more promising. The Forgotten Laws is one of them. It's actually the 11 Forgotten Laws. $30.46 payout, and I forget what the gravity was, but it was pretty good, I think. So I go to the website for the Forgotten Laws. And let me actually just load that for you. You load that up, visit the site, read at least a little bit of the sales copy to get an idea of what is this thing about. I mean, what is it really about? What are what is it reaching to? If you know, if you were to marry this website to a customer, what would that customer be looking for in this sales copy? Okay? So once you have gotten into the head of that person, then you're going to go here and you might type for this example, let's say, um, improve my life. 
but Google search. And what we're looking for here is an authority site that is ranking organically. Okay, um, this one right here might be one. But you're going to take and you're going to log that information, the domain, so that you can run that through Google later and find some other keyword suggestions. Okay, maybe um, make money online. And a bunch of stuff comes up here. Make money, uh, our info, blogspot. Here's another one. Uh, any of these that's, you know, organically listed, you're going to want to check it out. But you primarily are looking for the domain. And you're going to take that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to, this is the keyword tool. We're going to go to website content. And let's paste that URL and get some keyword ideas. What Google's going to do now is it's going to go out. This is a site that we have found that organically ranks really well for those keyword terms that we typed. Google's going to go out to that site and it's going to come back with the results of other keywords that are on that site. So this is going to help us you know, totally expand and build on our list. And okay. So how to make money. Let's add that one. How to make money at home. How to make money easy. Money on the internet. All of these are good. How to earn money. Ways to earn money. How to earn money online. And we've got some related make money words. Make money online. I mean, you're just going to go through here. I'm only going to do a few more, but you're going to go through here and build a pretty good size list. Make money internet, make money from home. And I'm paying attention not only to the keyword terms, but I'm also paying attention to the uh, you know the amount of traffic that that term is getting earn money from the internet because remember we're wanting to you know for our test hopefully we can get like 500 clicks a day Let's see how many we have got now. Okay, that's enough for our uh, for our exercise, I think. I'm going to do CSV here. And we'll just open it because I'm going to take these keywords, copy them. I'm going to go back to Google, to the tools, and to the traffic estimator. Now, what you can do if you want is you can just build this ginormous list first and then come in here. But I'm just going to do this one, you know, bulk that I got here just to save time. But, uh, you know, you could by all means take this list, put it in the Excel spreadsheet, and just start adding to it. Keep doing. You want to keep digging down, getting more keywords, use other websites, use, uh, you know, SpyFu, for example. Build more stuff, get more keywords. And then when you compile the whole thing, pop it in here, and I'm going to set it to 75, just like we did before, $500 budget. Let's go ahead and restrict this. This time we're going to restrict it to the U.S. and continue. And let's see if we get any. Yeah, we've got some 75s. Okay. So we're going to get our budget. And we're going to get oodles of traffic for that. Okay, but this is this is really good that this has come up. Um, notice that we're in the four to six position here. That's really where I want to be anyway. Is uh, in that position on like on some of these. If I'm paying seventy five cents and I'm in the one to three, I'm really going to drop that down. I'm going to drop that bid down until I pop down into the you know, the four to six position. 
But uh, looks like that make money is going to get us some traffic. How to make money will get us some. And uh, all right. So let's take this now, and this has all the information, the click information. We're going to open that up. Just going to select this part right here, just like before. And we're going to do copy and paste. Okay. Now, the thing that we would do normally, again, if you're going to build your list, you're going to have like maybe a couple of hundred keywords to start with. But what are we actually going to end up with? Well, I'm going to show you. The first thing that we want to do, make sure that this list is sorted alphabetically. I'm going to select just like that. Do sort A to Z. Nothing changed, so it already is. But if you're compiling this list from several different sources, then it won't be. Uh, and the reason that we want to sort it alphabetically is because we want to go in and remove duplicates if there are you know, duplicate terms here. Now, next thing that we want to do is sort this. We're going to do a custom sort. And again, if you're using OpenOffice, I'm not sure exactly how you're going to do this, but uh, it does do this. But here's how you do it in Excel. Clicks per day high. This is what we want. That's in column J. So we're going to sort on column J. Sort on values, largest to smallest. So that's descending order. And that's going to give us an idea of the traffic that we can expect. Some of this stuff is very low traffic. It's not, you know, it might not be worth it too much. But uh, make money. Now here, that could be something that's construed as a little bit too generic. It is going to get us a lot of clicks, more than likely. But it could be too generic because, I mean, somebody could be looking for, you know, how to counterfeit money. Um, it might not fit into our category right, but that's one thing that you got to look for. I personally think make money is going to. I can appeal to people with the product that I'm going to push now. As long as they're interested in making money, I can appeal to them. They might not be focused on how to do it you know, online, but I'm going to point them in that direction. So we're going to go ahead, and I've got some fields here, some column headings, ID, use, and group. And let me add one I forgot to put in here, um, actual CPC. The ID part we're not going to get to yet. The use part, that's what we're going to focus on. I'm going to look at this keyword and determine if it really is applicable, and I'm going to consider how much I'm going to have to pay for the position, and is it going to be worth it. So that one I'm going to say yes it is. So I put an X there. How to make money, same situation. Yeah, I'll use that. Make money online. Making money online. Still looking good. Make money internet. Yeah, make money from home. Most of these look like they are actually pretty good. Make money at home. How to earn money. That one I'm not going to use. I just don't like the way that uh, I don't like the way that goes. Make money quick. We're going to not use that one. Ways to earn money. How to make money fast. We're not. I. I'm, that one's debatable. Internet. Earn money. How to make money easy. Okay, and these are all pretty low clicks here. So, and the thing is, they're low clicks and high bids. So I'm going to just skip those. So now what I want to do is I want to get rid of the ones that are not going to be used, but not actually get rid of them, right? Because I will be developing uh, an SEO campaign. And in that case, I want to use these because that site that I just, you know, was at, it's ranking high for a lot of these terms. And again, remember, this list is going to be a lot longer for you. It's going to be like 200 maybe, um, 200 keyword, keyword phrases. So you're going to go through there and X out until you've got maybe about a dozen. And then you select 
just like this. And in Excel, you got a filter and filter. What are you filtering on? Right here. Click the drop down. I'm going to deselect select all and just that X right there. Okay, what that's going to do is when I click OK, I'm only going to see the ones that have the X. The beauty of this is that the others are not gone. At any time, I can go back in here and say, get them all back, and there they are. Okay, but I'm focusing on just the ones with the X that I decided to use. Now what we're going to do is prepare for later on when we want to start doing some tracking. When we launch our campaign, we need to track. So in this ID column right here, we're going to do A100. Now the thing about ClickBank is you only get like, I don't remember, seven or eight characters that you can send to track. So that A stands for AdWords. If we start using Yahoo, we're going to change that to a Y. MSN, we'll change it to an M. But we want to be able to track where this traffic is, com is coming from for every single one of these keywords, and it all has to be unique. This is why you only want to have about a dozen. Okay, A200, A300, A400, A500, A600. We're going to use that. You'll see how we use it later on, but for now, let me go ahead and save this so I don't lose anything. And then over here under group, we want to kind of categorize. Think of this as the ad group. If you're familiar with AdWords, you've got an ad group. And what you're creating here is the group name that you're going to have when you create your campaign. And the keywords are the keyword phrases are going to fit into one of the ad groups. If there are things that have like a very similar theme about them, then you put them in the same ad group. And then you're going to have a landing page for each ad group, and you're going to have two ad variations for uh, each ad group. That is all dealt with in the last module when we start you know, dealing with getting traffic with Google. But we're doing preparation work right now. So let's just say make money, how to make money, making money online. So we're going to have one that's just make money. And then we'll have money online. Money online. Money on the Internet. That's going to go into the money online group, money from home, money home, money online, money home. Okay, so with these, how many do I have here? Four, I've got eight keywords, and all this is, you know, subjective. You can do this however you want to, however you feel Things should be categorized. That's what you do. Okay, there's no really right or wrong. Whatever makes sense to you. So out of those eight phrases, though, now I've got three different, um, you know, ad groups that I'm going to be creating. And I'm going to put those into the ad groups. Now, actual CPC. This is going to be done by evaluating the positions that Google is talking about here, and actually on an individual basis going back in and trying to lower this until it is in the four to six position. For these that are already in the lower, the you know, the four to six position, we're just going to use the, you know, the low right there that it's telling us. So for this example... That one's 0.49. That one's 0 0.53. 0 0.55. Whoops, got that one wrong. Okay, and this top one, 
That's a 4 to 6, 2. So that is 0.52. So we've got one here that is the 1 to 3 position. And that means we're paying a lot of money, really, for that. And uh, hopefully we're going to improve our quality score so much that we get into a better position at a lesser cost anyway. But what we're going to do with this is this is Make Money Online. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my estimator here. And I'm going to do just that keyword. If you have, you know, if you have keywords, several that are in that uh, area, you want to maybe do them all together. But I'm going to drop the bid, still give myself a pretty good budget. All other things being equal here. And, okay, that gets me into 46, and now my bid goes down to 26 cents. And that's kind of what I'm looking for, is a lower bid that's going to get me there. Okay, so now we take this same information. I'm going to take this over here, and let's. I'm going to do this differently so I don't have to keep resetting the uh, amounts there. The actual CPC that I'm expecting to pay and now we're going to go with clicks a day on the low end. Okay. So what I have got in this situation now is Again, we've already kind of picked this product. We want to get another, you know, more keywords, get a little bit more accurate information, and then punch it in here again. And for the commission for this product, if we did this, uh, we're going to go with the Google Shadow, which is the one that has the money online keywords. 2776 is our payout. Okay, and here's our results. A total click inventory of 419. Average CPC is 51 cents. Conversions per day, we're going to get four sales more than likely. And we're going to make $112 and spend 213 it says, for a, a loss of $100. Here's our break-even CPC. But notice that the suggestion says go for it. Why is that? Well, because in reality, remember, we're dealing with Google numbers, and I can't really manipulate the numbers in such a way that it makes them say something different. Okay, But what I can do is, based on experience, based on knowledge, I can take and tell you, if Google says this, is it going to be a profitable campaign? Should we pursue it? And the answer to that in this case is yes. The formula is really very simple. If Google says that we're going to make $112 a day and that it's going to cost us $213 a day, all you have to do is determine if the actual ad spend, and we're taking this as, let's say that this really maybe does happen to us, okay, the first day. If this AdWords cost is less than four times what you make, it is still worth pursuing as long as the gravity is over 100 and the commission is $30 or more. Now, in this case, again, it's really close. The gravity is up there really good. The commission is low, though. Uh, and I told you, you know, I'm the first person to admit that I break a lot of my own rules it's kind of a gut feeling, though, that you have to, you know, develop. But the suggestion in this case is go for it. If, uh, you know, if it was, if I was spending $500 in AdWords and I was making $100, this would say bail. <laughs> it would say don't do it. Don't even waste your time. But there are a lot of reasons, really, for 
you know, these this information to be somewhat misleading. <sighs> Number one, you're going to be a better marketer than the other people that are marketing. Okay, you're going to outmarket them. That means your maybe the product, you know, some affiliate Yahoo, maybe they're just sending people directly to the sales page for the product. You're not going to do that. You're going to set up your own website. You're going to pre-sell it because your copy is going to be better than their copy. And you, maybe you're going to put a, a video on there. Maybe you're going to do a squeeze page and try to get their name and email address. You're going to build a huge list while you're doing this. And any time that you can get somebody on a list, that is like gold. It's like money in the bank. I know people that will pay and lose money up front, no questions asked, if they can get people on their email list because eventually it's going to convert and make them money. Okay, now, again, that's kind of an advanced topic. We're not going to get into it too much, but I do want to point that out to you. that There are reasons that these factors here, like I said, it's Google's data. We're just kind of going with it, and I'm telling you uh, what I what my experience is with, with this situation. This campaign that you're going to launch is going to evolve. It's going to change. It's a process. Right from the start, you know, we're going to go ahead and punch this stuff into our campaign. And we're going to punch in what we think we're going to, you know, have to pay. But once we see what we really are paying, once Google sees the quality uh, of our site, that it has keywords and that, uh, you know, people like our ads and they do want to click on the ads, all of our numbers are going to change. We're going to get better positioning. We're going to pay less for that positioning. So this is just a starting place. Now, let me show you real quick some of the other tools that I like to use. Everything that I just did now was on Google and absolutely free. Here is SpyFu. You can do the same thing. Um, let me see the... Let's grab this URL here. This is a different site than the one that we're promoting. But... It'll work for this. We're going to go ahead and paste in that URL. We're going to get SpyFu to go check out who's advertising on that domain. Here's the daily budget. They're spending a little bit of money for that. Here's the clicks. Now, this is one thing. Check your dates. Okay. If they're spending a whole bunch of money and they've been doing it for a long time, then something's working. They're making money somewhere. In this case, it looks like it just maybe launched in January. That's when it first was making itself manifest, uh, at least on AdWords. And now in March, it has been kicked up quite a bit. So good chance there that this is being real profitable for them and for whoever else is advertising. This is another place that we can get some keyword suggestions here. Use this to add to your list. Uh, and don't ever assume that just because somebody else is using the keywords that they do work out. You know, evaluate that stuff for yourself and see if it makes sense. So uh, SpyFu, that's a great place to build the list. Keyword Spy. Let's do the same thing here and see what it gives us. We'll just punch in the URL and do a search. Again, they do offer a paid subscription. Now, you're going to see conflicting information here. This is totally normal. And this is why I tell you, you know, <laughs> the the even the this right here that we're getting data from Google, I mean, you take it for, you know, tongue in cheek kind of, so to speak. It's not completely accurate. It's just uh, we have to have some point of reference. So that's what it's all about. Over here, Keyword Spy, it's saying they launched in December. That's the first time they appeared there. It's saying the daily ad budget is $51. Total clicks a day, 95 What is SpyFu telling us? Uh, a little bit different information. Okay, so you got to kind of take it for what it's worth. We've got some keywords that they're, uh, that they're paying for here. We can look for organic keywords as well. And that's going to show us what they're actually 
you know, ranking for as far as Google is concerned from a search engine optimization standpoint. So anyhow, we've picked a product. We've got some keywords. Now we've drilled down even more, and we know what keywords we're going to use for our campaign. Again, you're going to just about fill this up. Okay, you want to start out with maybe like a couple of hundred keywords in here. Get it whittled down to about 12 that you're actually going to use. Put those 12 in here with the actual data. You want to shoot for about 500 clicks a day. That's really good. I totally recommend that you track everything. When you punch a site in here, you know, when you find a site that you think is going to work out, punch it in here. Put in here whether it passes or fails after you start to, you know, do your tests and you decide if you're going to use it or not. Put that information in here so that you're tracking everything. And, again, you don't have to repeat stuff over and over again. And even on this tab over here, keyword tracking, this is where you start to build and accumulate your keyword list. And I totally suggest that you do that. As you go from one tool to another, SpyFu, Keyword Spy, Google, whatever you're using, any keywords that they give you, punch them in under the appropriate site. Once you've got those 200 words, sort them. Make sure you've got no duplicates in there. And then copy that to the uh, keyword estimator. Sorry about that. Here it is. Then when you get all that data, bring all of that back into here. This is where you get all your numbers, put everything together. You decide which ones you're actually going to use after you've sorted based on the amount of search volume, and if it is really a relevant search, assign it to a group, give it an ID, use the actual CPC for, you know, once you've got it whittled down to the four to six position, don't worry about this first to third position. Then you take this information, punch it in here, you know what to expect, and you, it's going to determine if you're going to go for it or bail out whether or not it's going to work. And now that we're up to that point, we're ready for Module 3, where we go out, we get a website, we throw something up really quick, we put together our content, and we're prepared to start sending some traffic.